In this video, we're going to look at how we can make a 3D tool for B-axis turning. So here I have my mill turn machine all set up, and this is a B-axis machine. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a tool that we're going to be able to machine on the face and on the OD of it using the B-axis at 0 degrees and at 90 degrees. So first I'm going to go into my lathe tool manager, and I'm going to right click and create a 3D tool. So from here I'll just give it a name. So I'll say my B axis tool. And then the type is just going to be general turning and we're going to use inch. So next we need to add a component. That component is essentially going to be the holder as defined here. And then I'm going to grab an external model and I'm going to use this model right here. So when we open the model, it's going to come into the Mastercam environment and we want to select the holder only, not the insert. So here I've selected the older and then I can say end selection. So here again, general turning and manufacturer. In this case, this is a Sandvik tool, so I can say Sandvik and then manufacturer's code. I could put that in here if I need it as well. So here we have a cylindrical shank and here I can select the diameter and just select this radial face here. Then I'll click next and then my machine plane side connection. So here I'm going to select a plane and that's going to be the back end of the cap dome. Click enter. And now I have my tool set up. I'm going to hit next. I have no mating, so I can click OK. Next, I'm going to add an insert. So again, I'm going to grab it from the same model that has the insert already in it. And now I'm going to grab only the insert. So now the insert comes into our model. And if we rotate it around, we can kind of see how it fits on there. So again, this is general turning manufacturer. In this case, again, we could say Sandvik. And then if we had our code, we could throw it in. And this is going to be a right handed tool. Then I'll hit next corner radius. I'll select the corner radius here. And then that corner radius is going to be 32,000. No mating. But Insert was already mated with the tool, so I can click next. And then now my cutting plane. So if I go to my top view here, rotate around a little bit. Again, the plane is generally gonna to be top or bottom. In this case, it looks like it's gonna be bottom. So I click okay. And then I have my insert up direction, which makes sense. And the only thing I need to do is offset this boundary here. So I can click on the offset button and then just select the tip of my insert. Click next. My boundary is well defined, so I can click next. And then again, we're gonna set it up in the machine. So gonna go back to top view. And then here we want it set up the way that it's gonna be coming out of the tool changer on our B axis machine. So it's gonna start in a horizontal position. Our spindle is going to be going counterclockwise and we're going to reverse it. So that it's coming out with the insert facing away from us. I'm gonna hit next. And then here I'm going to tell it where my tool center point is. So I'm going to use two lines, this line and this line. And that's going to move it down into that correct quadrant. Side clearance angle. So for this guy, we're going to use this line. And then for our height, we're going to use a point and then an end of the arc. So the center point of that arc to this end point. And then again, we'll do the same thing for this clearance angle as well. So we'll choose this line and then we'll choose the center point to the end point here. We'll click next. And then here we could set up our custom feeds and speeds. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now I have everything defined the way I need it to. So I can click OK once more and then I'll click OK. Now 